In this section, we're going to look at the Exchange Admin Center. You'll learn about the Exchange Admin Center and its parts and how to execute some of the main administrative tasks. We're going to look at managing user mailboxes, managing the organizational contacts and resources, creating distribution lists, and creating groups. All right, let's look at managing user mailboxes. Now let's look at how we can get to the Exchange Admin Center, how you can search and refresh the list of users, how you can edit the users and some of the most used options that you're going to want to know about there, and also other options for your users. So in the Office 365 Admin Center, on the left navigation, you go to the bottom where you'd see this little A with a gear sticking out of it. This is where the admin centers are. You choose any one, but in this example, we're going to go to the Exchange Admin Center, and it's going to open any of those admin centers up in a new tab. So now we're in the Exchange Admin Center. This admin center has lots of different things here that you can do, but we're going to start off by talking about the user's mailboxes. So if you click on the user mailboxes link, you see your list of users here. These are all the users that you have in your Office 365 tenant who have an organizational account. You have the ability to do a search by clicking on the search magnifying glass. So if you had a bunch of users that were rolling off the bottom of the page, you can just use a search to search that user out. You can use the refresh button to refresh the list. So if a new user was added while you were sitting in this on this page and someone else, another admin added a new user, you can use the refresh button to refresh your list. Anytime you see the three dots, there's a more menu, which means you can do things like add and remove columns, columns to this view here. You can export a data file and you can do an advanced search. Each user can be edited. So if you choose the user, highlight them. You can click the pencil, but you'll also notice on the side panel, you'll have additional options that you can use. So if I wanted to modify Ben, I can click on the pencil. And here's where I can change his first name, his initials, his last name, and display name. All the things that you would have changed in the active users when you edit active users or create new active users when we first looked at the Office 365 Admin Center for adding and creating users. Same things here. But you got a few more additional things like the mailbox usage, which shows the last time that the user was logged on and how much space they have used and how much they have left. Contact information can be changed here as well. For the organization, you can change those details here, including the person's manager and adding direct reports. Their email addresses. So if they have several different email addresses, they could be all added or changed or replaced, deleted here. Mailbox functions. Do you have certain policies that this user needs to have as opposed to your organization at a whole? You can change this user, this individual user's policies and mailbox features here. Another thing that you might want to do, you might want to enable unified messaging. You also might want to enable legal hold on this user. So this is where you would do it. Archiving is already enabled, but you might want to disable it. You might want to also view the additional details. The quotas come in even though unlimited archiving is unlimited. Um, the quota amount comes in 100 gig blocks. 
So once the user gets close to it, then you would be able to up their limit. You'll also be able to say what groups this member or this user is a part of, any mail tips. Also delegation of the mailbox can also be done here. You have send as, send on behalf, and full access delegation. Once you're done with your changes, you wanna make sure you hit the save button. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna change anything for my user. Also, again, you do have some of those feature options on the side panel for each user.